Hello dear students, I have just taken one sample gate question to explain some concept. You can go through this uh, converter. Circuit is uh, meant to supply a resistive load. So this is a resistive load from two separate DC sources. One is 10 volts battery, 5 volts battery. And two switches S1, S2 are controlled. Okay. So S1 is on for 0.2 milliseconds and S2 is on for 0.3 milliseconds. So here we are having two batteries. So this is the battery one, 10 volts. It may not be visible. Battery two, 5 volts. Now S1 is in the on state for 0.2 milliseconds, for 0 0.2 milliseconds. Okay. When S1 is on, S2 remains in the off state. Next, when S1 becomes off, S2 is on. S2 is on for 0.3 milliseconds. S2 is on for 0.3 milliseconds. So that means alternately. So S1, S2 are complementary switches here. So S1 is switched on for 0.2 milliseconds and S2 is switched on for next 0.3 milliseconds. So 0.2 plus 0 0.3, 0 0.5. So total time period is 0.5 milliseconds. That means it is continuous conduction. Time period is 0.5 milliseconds here. The time period is 0 0.5 milliseconds. Now assume continuous conduction. So assume, let us assume that inductive current is always continuous. Inductive current is always continuous conduction. And negligible ripple. That means the load voltage is kept constant. So here the load voltage is kept constant. Negligible ripple. Okay. Now we have to find out the average output voltage. So what is our question? Find out the average output voltage. So actually it is a DC to DC converter, some kind of DC to DC converter, some kind of DC to DC converter. So what is your observation? What is your observation in this case? So I hope question is clear to you, right? Okay. Now see, when the transistor S1 is in the on state, for some time load is connected to 10 volts battery, right? When transistor S1 is in the on state, for some time load is connected to 10 volts battery. And next when transistor S2 is on, in the next mode load is connected to 5 volts battery. That means for some time load is connected to 10 volts, in the next interval 5 volts, 10 volts, 5 volts, 10 volts, 5 volts. That means the average value should lie between 5 and 10. It's a very simple logic, right? So what is the range of average voltage? So what is my observation? <coughs> See, this is the range of average voltage. So that means average voltage should lie in between 5 volts and 10 volts. What is the reason? Simple logic. When transistor S1 is on, load is connected to 10 volts battery for 0.2 milliseconds and next when transistor S2 is on load is connected to 5 volts that means load is connected alternately between 10 and 5 that means the range of average output is in between 5 and 10 simple logic of course inductive current is always continuous here see in any numerical in DC to DC converters if they ask you what is the expression for average voltage Try to draw the waveform for VL. Try to draw the waveform for VL. So voltage across the inductor is VL. So try to draw the waveform for VL. And make VL average 0 after reaching steady state. So let us try this question. I want to draw the waveform for VL. Just understand here. Okay. Now first S1 is in the on state, right? What happens when S1 is in the on state? When S1 is in the on state, apply KVL in the loop and find out the voltage across the inductor. So let us apply KVL in the loop when S1 is on. So start from here. Let us start from here. So this is plus and minus. Start from here. Minus 10, minus 10 plus VL plus V0. So this is the KVL equation. No? So drop of diode is 0, drop of transistor is 0, ideal device. So apply KVL in this loop. So what is the KVL equation? 
minus 10 volts plus voltage across inductance plus V naught is equal to 0. So, in this loop, I am applying KVL. Okay? So, from this, VL is equal to 10 volts minus V naught volts. So, when S1 is in the on state, when S1 is in the on state, VL is equal to 10 minus V naught. S1 is in the on state for 0 0.2 milliseconds. See, S1 is in the on state for 0 0.2 milliseconds. Uh, in the next mode, when I switch on S2, S1 is off. When S2 is on, again apply KVL in this loop and find out inductor voltage. So, next S2 is in the on state. So, once again, let us apply KVL in the loop and find VL. So, let us start from here. Let us start from here. This is plus and this is minus. So, minus 5 plus VL plus V naught in this loop. So, in this loop, apply KVL. So, minus 5 volts plus VL plus V naught. So, from this equation, VL is equal to 5 minus V naught. See here, I already said to you, the range of average voltage lies between 5 and 10. That means, average voltage is more than 5. Average voltage of output is more than 5 means, that is understood VL is negative here. VL is negative means, it starts releasing the energy. So, let us take that negative sign outside. So, VL is negative minus of V naught minus 5. So, here, VL become negative here. And then, it is releasing the stored energy. What is this negative value? Minus of V naught minus 5. This is for 0 0.3 milliseconds. S2 is in the on state. Okay. So, total time period is 0.5. See, 0 0.2 plus 0 0.3 time period is 0 0.5 milliseconds. After that, same repeats because it is continuous conduction. I hope you understood. Now, after reaching steady state, you know very well, volt second. What is volt second of VL? That means, VL average should be 0. That means, in any circuit, if there is inductance, after reaching steady state, VL average should be 0. That means, positive area plus negative area, if I add it, total area of the waveform is 0. Total total area of the voltage waveform is 0. What is the area of the voltage waveform? Positive area, 10 minus V naught into 0 0.2 milliseconds. 10 minus V naught multiplied by 0 0.2 milliseconds. Plus negative area, what is negative area? Minus of V naught minus V5 into 0 0.3. So, plus negative area. So, we are adding negative area here. Negative area minus of V naught minus 5 multiplied by 0 0.3 milliseconds is equal to 0. So, the unknown value is V naught. If you solve this one, average output is 7 volts. I hope the concept is clear to you. Not only in this case, in any numericals, in the case of a DC to DC converter, if I want to find the expression for average output voltage, draw the VL waveform and you make VL average 0. You can get the expression for average output voltage. In any DC to DC converter, procedure is same. Okay, students, concept is very simple, right? Right.